Today, second grade, we are going to work more on telling time, but now you're going to tell time to the five minute mark. So let's review what we know and practice. So like I said, today you're going to be able to say, I can tell time to the nearest five minutes. If you don't already, please get a pencil and your work page out. First, let's review. Hmm, here is a blank clock. I'm wondering what you notice on the clock. I notice the numbers on the clock. I notice these little lines around the clock. And I also notice this dot in the middle. Hmm. What are the numbers for on the clock? The numbers tell us the hours. So when the hour hand is pointed at a number, it is the hours. These little lines around the clock help us tell time to the exact minute. But today we're gonna work on to the nearest five minutes. And this little dot in the middle is for our minute hand and our hour hand. What do you notice is the difference between our minute hand and our hour hand? I notice that the minute hand is long and the hour hand is short. The hour hand is short and it moves the least. Each hour, the hour just moves from one number to the other, but the long minute hand has to work hard and go all the way around the clock. When the minute hand is pointed to the 12, we know that the minutes are zero. So this clock right now is showing me five o'clock because the hour hands pointed at the five and the minute hands pointed at the o'clock. Now, do you remember how we count the minutes around the clock? We count by five. Let's practice together. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Do you know how long an hour is? An hour is 60 minutes. So once the minute hand has gone all the way around the clock, it has been 60 minutes and we start over at zero. The numbers on the inside of the clock tell us the hours. The number on the outside of the clock tell us the minutes. Do all clocks have minutes? No, the ones in our classrooms do, but not all clocks tell you the minutes. That's why today you're going to practice counting by five around the clock to figure out the time without the minutes written there to help you. Let's practice together. So all you need right now is your brain. We're not working on your work page yet. What time is it? Think in your head. Where's that hour hand pointing? Where's the minute hand pointing? Well, the hour hand, I know is the short one and it's pointing at nine. And the minute hand is pointed straight up. And when I count by five around the clock, I know that this is zero, zero. So we have nine o'clock. What time is it here? Where is the hour hand pointing? 
And then can you count by five around the clock? It is 10. It's pointing at 10. Remember the hour hand slowly moves to the 11. So it's not pointing right at 10, but it's not 11 yet. And then zero, five, 10, 15, 20. What time is it here? Where is the hour hand pointing? 2.50? No, here's why it's not 2.50. Is my hour hand on the two yet? No, it is still one o'clock. And if we count by five around the clock, it is 1.50. What time is it on the clock? It is 5.40. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Now I need you to get out your practice page and that pencil. We are going to work through these six problems together in order, and then you'll do the back on your own. So let's get started. Number one, what time is it on the clock? Write the hour first, then two dots, and then the minutes. It is 6.35. Remember, you can pause the video if you're not ready yet when I move on. What time is it on the clock? Pause the video and write down your answer. 2.25. What time is it on the clock? Pause the video and write your answer. It is 11.05. What time is it on the clock? Pause the video and write your answer. Be careful on this one, it's a little tricky. It is 4.55. It looks like the hour hands on the five, but it's not quite there yet. What time is it on the clock? It is 840. And the last one, what time is it on the clock? Pause the video. It is 3.50. That was one of those tricky ones too where it could almost be on that four. Now my second grade friends, it is time for you to practice on your own. I want you to flip your page over. This is the seesaw page. We've got our seesaw icon here. So I want you to write the time shown on the clocks below. You have four clocks. Remember, you write the hours and the minutes. When you are finished, post to Seesaw. And if you forgot how, here is the instructions. I can't wait to see all of your awesome learning.